What's up guys, Nolan here. Quick update for Star Citizen. Everybody should have access to the new launcher, which is pretty shenanigans, it's pretty nice. All I needed to do was go over to my settings and then make sure it was actually the correct folder. It would, it showed the right folder for all of these files, but then I just went and verified and then it actually worked. So you don't need to go and re-download it if you're doing the, doing the new launcher here. Just go into your settings and verify, make sure it's the right folder for the files that you have right now and you should be good to go, whether you're um, EPTU or live or both or whatever. On that note, have been playing EPT EPTU because uh, I went and did, or I went and paid the $10. If you pay the $10 to do the subscriber, you're in for wave one. It's been a mixed bag. Uh, got to see the server recovery a, a few times. Sometimes it took a while, uh, but also got to mess around with master modes, with chips that you haven't been able to before with my lightning and with, with my other Hornets and things like that that you haven't been able to test before and that was a bit of fun turns out that mass driver cannons and a lot of those ballistic cannons and things like that are hitting super hard the dog fighters in our org are mentioning that right now and it seems like it's going to get fixed but generally speaking if you go and you do the competitive side of things for dog fighting in master modes for the eptu right now for 323 it's a lot of people sniping people with with ballistic cannons but on the other side of things if you're just trying to do like the pirate swarm, pirate swarm and stuff like that it's pretty fun being able to use ships that you haven't been able to before and and get used to master modes on that end of things and arena commander has been going very smoothly i haven't had really any issues with that some of the some of the loadouts for some of the weapons are a little bit weird um and i don't know if it's just because i'm not used to master modes yet but i was running around with my lightning and it just didn't seem like it was doing the right amount of damage for having four panthers and four badgers i believe or bulldogs whatever the size twos are it just didn't seem right when i'm fighting tanos and and uh auroras and they're just kind of they're just not dying even though i'm lighting them up with that much firepower it, it just seems a little weird so not sure what was going on with that end of things but it was a bit of fun so that's pretty cool also if you're watching this i'm gonna be live if you're watching this soon after i post this i'm gonna be live over on twitch we're gonna be doing the xeno threat stuff which there is a referral program thing going on right now where you and a buddy whoever uses your referral code gets a merlin so 25 dollars ship nice little snub fighter but you do get lti that is basically an lti token so when you get the merlin it's a pretty easy upgrade to something that obviously with around the 25 dollar price you know point you're not gonna be able to go too far you're not gonna be able to do too much so if you've already got some ships i suggest that you go for the pisces uh, it's pretty handy and you don't have a pisces already uh, it's pretty handy to have you can throw stuff in the back it's kind of a nice thing to have and then you can upgrade um from there and then you continue your ccu chain from there whatever it might be to that from that point and then you have the lti token if you're just now getting into the game use my referral code and you'll get one that's up on the screen right now it should have been up on the screen this entire time you are going to get as long as you use that referral code and, and you spend at least 40 dollars which in order to buy a game package you're going to be doing anyway these are the game packages in the current state of the game right now you've got 51 dollars for the cutter generally speaking that's what i suggest that you get but if you are really trying to save that six bucks just get the aurora join the org if you don't have friends to already play with otherwise just if you have friends to play with you can use their ships i guarantee they've got something with a turret in it they might even have a ship they'll just straight up give you you're not really going to be using the aurora if you have friends that are in the game already and like i said before if you don't have friends we are looking for people so Join the org, link in the description. I'll put in the top comment for this one as well. Yeah, you can just go with the Aurora. We're, we're gonna have gunners, we're gonna have uh, trainings, we'll have weekend game, uh, a weekly gameplay sessions for the new guys so that you can get into the game and understand it. But if you're off on your own, or even if you do have friends, the Cutter is a good starting ship. I talked about that in yesterday's vid, yesterday? A couple days, my last video, I talked about that, where your your process when you first get into the game and really any mmo and really any game is how do you level up well in star citizen you're going to need that cash so how do you get cash having a ship like the cutter gives you more flexibility where the aurora you've only got that one scu box something or other it, either way it's it's you don't really carry too much you're not you're not there's not a lot not a lot going on with the aurora um, but the cutter makes up for that you're going to have the space to put some stuff in it so you can go and do that hand salvaging hand mining whatever it might be uh, to help you out get to help you get some money in order to in-game buy your ships and go that way and if you do that while using my referral code which is that right there and like i said it's going to be up on the screen 
you will get a free Merlin, like I was mentioning before. $25 ship for free, and it's an LTI token, so it's going to allow you to upgrade it at a later date, whether you do it now. I suggest that you wait for Fleet Week, which should be about this time next month, give or take a week. Ship sales and stuff going on around that, and uh, it might be a better use to wait for that one. But if you actually want to spend money, then I would still go up to the Cuddy Black. The Cuddy Black is kind of a no-brainer for the 100 around the $100 mark, in my opinion. And then also we've got the C1, which is close to that too. I, I wouldn't go too much farther than that if you're newer to the game. There's going to be a lot that you're going to need to learn. And uh, if you end up doing the War Bond, you're going to save 10 bucks on the um, the C1 right now. Anyway, so that's going to be just an extra 5 bucks over the uh, Cuddy Black. So uh, with that sale going on, yeah, actually I'm thinking C1 over the Cuddy Black. But I really don't go over that. You, don't, you really shouldn't because uh, it's just going to be too much ship for your game knowledge at the moment. Use the smaller ships. Have stuff to earn in game take it at your own pace and just kind of do the missions play with friends get to understand the game before you go too crazy now for gameplay we have part five of the overdrive initiative which is xeno threat related now this one the impression that i got is a little bit boring there's going to be a couple of ships that pop up unless something else you know comes into play during this week at some point it seems like we're just going to be moving some boxes around uh, in order to supply one of the jump points and then next week should be part six where we actually fight the idris and there's a lot of stuff going on combat wise but this one it seems like this week we're just going to be moving some boxes around i'm going to be playing that on stream here in a little bit if you guys are watching this soon after i post it so we'll see what gets into that and uh, if something interesting with it pops up then i'll be sure to make another video about it otherwise that's all for now guys reminder use that referral code if you're new if you spend at least 40 dollars, which you're going to need to do in order to buy the buy the game to get into the game in the first place you will get that free uh, P-52 Merlin there. And uh, yeah, you'll have a solid LTI token there to get you started that you can upgrade to later. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Put them down in the comments for the minute by minute stuff. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, link below, or join the Discord. If you're looking for people to play with, join our org. That video is right here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a nice day in the verse. See you guys.